How's it going guys? If you're interested in Forza Horizon 4 modded accounts, then head over to pattycustoms.com. We offer some of the lowest prices while still maintaining band protection, so you don't ever have to worry about getting your account banned. This is a website that I've been working on for quite some time now, and I'm super excited to finally release it to you guys. Again, if you're interested in Forza Horizon 4 modded accounts, then make your way over to Patty Customs and use the code PATTY on your first order to get 10% off. Thank you for your time and enjoy the video. Welcome back to the second part of the Forza Unbanned series. This is going to tie everything together and allow you to, you know, get back on the Forza Horizon 4 servers without any issue. So this account hasn't been directly banned, but it is on the same PC in which my other account got banned. So you could see alert unable to join session in the top of the screen. And then you have the uh, message right here. If you are on the account that was banned, it'll say the Forza Horizon 4 account has been banned until further noticed. So I'm gonna tie everything together, like I said, and uh, show you the steps. The first most important thing you have to do is get anything that you would ever want off the computer and upload it to a flash drive or a Google Cloud service or any cloud service in that fact. Um, so pictures, videos, documents, you get the gist. Everything that you would wanna keep, just upload it into a safe place for a later date. The second part is if you want to keep your save game file and pick up from where you left off and that would be basically going to the disk drive, going to users, go to your user account, for me it's Patty, for you it's going to be something else, go to app data, go to local, go all the way down to packages, scroll 50% of the way down there and you're going to go to Microsoft.Sunrise base game, go to system app data. WGS and then if you just signed into the account that you want to bring over to the new account it's going to be the first one above the T folder. Go to date modified and make sure you click on the most recent folder it's going to always be under the container.index file. And then once you're here you just want to copy and paste these two files your files may be different in a different order or anything some anything like that so Anything above the one kilobyte folder file size is what you're going to be copying over. So for me, it's going to be these two. So once you copy those over, you can get to the next step. So moving on to the third step, that would be getting your Windows key. If you don't already have your Windows key on hand, what you're going to do is go to your notepad and copy and paste this function I have right here. It's going to also be linked down in the description below if you don't want to copy it out because that'll probably take way too long. So once you have it pasted into the notepad, you go to File, Save As. doesn't matter what you name it, just as long as you name it as a .vbs file. That's going to basically call upon the function so you can see your Windows key. So I have it right here in the top right hand corner. Click on it and it brings up a little box that shows you what your Windows key is. It's going to be blurred out for you, but it will show you what you have. And this is used just as precautionary measure just in case the Windows operating system tells you, hey, we're not gonna let you go farther if you don't know your Windows key, and that'll stop you from dropping $150 or however much they cost it these days. It's just to make sure you have all your bases covered. So that brings us to the next step. I also forgot to mention, before doing the next step, you also want to check to see what edition your Windows 10 is. So in order to do that, you can go to your settings panel. From settings, you go to system, go to about, and go down at the bottom, and you can see the edition right here. For me, it's Windows 10 Home. So in the next couple of steps, you'll see me install Windows 10 Home. If you have Pro, then install Pro, and make sure you know if it's a 64-bit or 32-bit. You could also find that right here by system type. Okay, so moving on to your fourth step, it would be going to a Richard Tech's video on how to reinstall or do a clean install on Windows 10. He does a lot better job at explaining what to do and how to create a USB media tool than I could ever do. So I wanna give him the proper credit. And um, yeah, once you watch that video, come on back to this video and I'll show you exactly what I do to get everything working as smoothly as possible. So after watching that video, you should be able to successfully create a USB tool that will allow you to do a clean install on Windows 10 Pro, or any Windows 10 in that matter. And one last time, make sure you have 
everything saved that you would ever want to access again because we are completely wiping this computer. Nothing is going to be left on it. All right, changing out the cameras because obviously I'm not going to be able to record. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to explain it before I do it because it'll be a little bit too dark in my room to see. I'm going to plug this USB into one of the USB drives, restart my computer. As it's restarting, either hit F2 or delete just so I can bring up the BIOS of the computer. Once I'm in the BIOS, I'm going to tell the computer that, hey, you want to start off this USB flash drive and not the two other drives on my computer. All right, so now that my computer is off, all I have to do is turn it on, wait for my BIOS menu to come up, which shouldn't take too long. I'm gonna press delete. And now I'm in the BIOS of my computer. Once you're in the BIOS, you're gonna to wanna to go over to the boot option. Now everything is gonna be different for you depending on your motherboard. If you have an ASUS motherboard, this is what you're probably gonna be looking at. So for me, I go over to boot and I go to the name of the USB drive. So once I have the name of the USB drive selected, what I'm gonna wanna do is go to the exit option and type, or not type, I wanna go over to save changes and reset. Okay, once it does that, it's gonna power off and then power back on and it will bring me to my Windows install screen. Just to note, you do not have to press delete or F2 again since you already loaded the settings up. Okay, so this is the screen that everyone is gonna see. You obviously want to install the type of Windows software that you already own. You don't wanna go to a Windows Home Edition to a Windows Pro Edition because then it's gonna require you to buy a new Windows key. So you just wanna click next after checking making sure that all these three things are to your likings. Hit install now. And this is where it could get some uh, difficulty. Um, sometimes I've heard people not be able to go past this screen without inputting a product key. So I always have had luck with just saying I don't have a product key and the Windows software, software will recognize it later on. And since I had Windows 10 Home, 64-bit, I just hit next. You just want to hit accept terms and you want to do install windows only this is going to give you the option to select what drive so this can get a little tricky i just need to figure it out for one second okay so once you find the drive that you want to install everything on all you have to do for me in this instance i have format it it's gonna say, hey, if you format it, it's gonna restore everything and everything's gonna be lost. I'm obviously okay with that, so I hit okay. It's gonna format, and then I'm gonna hit next. And it's basically going through the process of installing all the Windows files, and I will be back once it is finished. Once it's finished installing, your computer is going to load up into the BIOS menu again. Or it's gonna load up and show you the BIOS menu. Don't, you don't have to hit anything. You're just gonna let your computer do its thing. And it's gonna ask you uh, a few questions when setting up the computer. So as you can see, it's loading everything as if you just opened this new computer and it's gonna ask you what you wanna do when you set it up. I'm gonna skip through this part since the majority of it is uh, self-explanatory, but I will get to you when you need to go to the next step. One thing to note, it is asking you for your Microsoft account. Now, if you already purchased your Forza Horizon 4 account with a different Microsoft account, it is okay to put that account in. Even if it's banned, it's not gonna ban the computer again. It's only gonna ban the computer when you sign in to that account on Forza. So put whatever account you want in, it's not gonna affect the process. Okay, so after setting up the computer, you're gonna be brought to the home screen. First thing you're gonna do is download any of the software that your computer needs. So that's uh, graphics drivers, um, Chrome, OBS, anything that you would normally use on a daily basis. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so once you download everything that you need to in terms of software, like your graphics drivers, uh, CPU drivers, anything like that, you wanna head over to your Windows Store 
and then you're going to go down to your downloads and updates and go to all owned if you purchased your Forza Horizon 4 account it'll show up right here now don't worry if right here is showing your band account this does not matter all you're basically doing is just downloading the game and you're not playing the game which is the part that will get you banned so once you're in the process of downloading this game all you have to do is go to Xbox console companion launch it it'll try to sign you in with the band account sometimes just hit not you and Microsoft account and go and make a new one or sign into an already pre-existing Microsoft account that has not been either banned or shadow banned. Once you do that, you can follow the next step. Now that you have downloaded Forza Horizon 4, all you're going to want to do is launch it as long as you're not signed into the Xbox account in which you got banned. Okay, so Forza is going to load up and it's going to make you go through the entire intro of the game. To my knowledge, there is no way of getting around it. Um, if I do somehow come across a way to get around it, I'll make a video separately going over that. But you just drive it as normal and get to the selection of your new car. Once you get to this portion of the game, all you have to do is select a random car. Doesn't matter what you do, just select it drive around for a few minutes and then you can get out of the game you don't even have to do a race okay now that i drove around a little bit all i have to do is just quickly exit to desktop and then go repeat repeat the process of finding out everything so what i mean by that is going to local disk users patty app data local Packages, Microsoft, the dot sunrise base game. Go to system app data, WGS. This is the account that I just made. And this is the most recent save. And now you'll see that there's only one file in this folder. It's okay. You don't need to. Sometimes the save, the porting of the save doesn't work. All you have to do is just reload this file back in and then copy both of them over, which also brings me to my next point. Go and get your save files from your old game. So if it's on uh, Google Drive, if it's on your flash drive, go and do that. All I'm gonna do is bring the file over and then copy the address for this one, delete it, and then paste it. And now all I have to do is load Forza back up. Well, right now I'm loading up Forza and as you can see, it is working. I know it's working because you can see all the achievement unlocks that are gonna be popping up right in this corner. And actually you can see the money that I have, the car that I have, and the level that I have. Uh, I will be blurring this portion out because this is actually the giveaway account that I'm doing. And in order to show you guys that it, everything's working, um, there's no fishy things going on, uh, and that I can actually, oh, I do not want that. I can actually go online with this car or with this account. I'll show you. So one, there's two tests you can do. The auction, the auction sometimes is delayed. It, what I mean by that is if you're banned, sometimes you can still access the auction before it bans you. So test number one is good. And all I have to do after this is go to, let's see. Okay, so this works. I'm in a Forza solo session. Let me just try to find someone driving around. Um, do not see anyone. Oh, right here. So that's an online player. That's an online player. Uh, what else can I show to prove to you that it, everything is correct and right? Um, Forzathon works. When you get banned, Forzathon does not work at all. And then you can see I can access the designs, which you can't do if you're banned. And uh, yeah, it's as easy as that. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, I just want to say thank you for supporting my channel. And um, yeah, it's basically the end of the video. Um, if you like the video, please like. Please check out my website. I know I did a quick little promo in the beginning of the video. I 
put a little bit of work into it. So that'd be cool if you can check that out and maybe even buy anything or recommend it to other uh, people in the community. That would be great. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. I almost forgot. I forgot to roll the giveaway. Um, I <laughs> let you guys wait long enough for this. So what I'm going to do, I picked the first comment figure I could find on Google. I put my video URL in. That is not the URL. Let me copy that. Let's throw it in the space. Okay, so generated 30 comments. Now, once I hit start, and if it picks a winner that does not make mention of any of the accounts that I said, I'm not going to choose them as the winner because that was the only rule of the giveaway. It was to make mentions in the comment about how you would like the account, how you want the account. So hopefully it's the first time and we get the winner. And the winner of the account is going to be Dress God. So Dress God, I'm going to be sending you a message and uh, basically sending you the details of the account once we get in contact. If you guys are interested in maybe possibly getting another giveaway, please let me know in this comment section below. I'll be trying to do them at least monthly. Uh, if there's a lot of demand for it, I'll be doing them weekly. Um, but anyways, thank you for stopping by. Thank you.